Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to film my Sephora Play unboxing and my mini reviews. I have to say this month was so good. So if you wanna see what I got for the month of February, then keep watching. All right, I have my box opened here. It's empty, I have everything in front of me. As you do every month, you do get a booklet and this one is called The Soft Side. Stellar products are only the beginning and they always give you a little card here that you can use in store to get some like tips and tricks of how to use the product. So I'm gonna keep it open right here beside me. So the bag, because it comes in a box, but all the products are in a little satchel bag. This month was so pretty. Look at this. I, okay, first off, it's this beautiful blush tone and it's a silk bag and it says smitten. I love this bag. I, I want it in a blouse or something. I think that would look really pretty. I know that's bizarre, but this is just so pretty. Usually you get a white bag, but they've been changing up the type of satchel you get. And so far, this is my favorite. Just so classy and chic. Now let's talk about the products because that's probably the more important part and what you're really here for. As always, I usually start off with the scent because that's a staple. You're always going to get some sort of perfume in your box. And this month we got a Marc Jacobs one and it's the Divine Decadence. And I have never tried this, but of course I've seen it a thousand times. It's the one that kind of looks almost like a little pocketbook. And this is a sensual, luxurious, radiant type of scent and I have a little bit of a cold a little sinus thing going on when I first got it I had never actually smelled this scent before and it's pretty I can't even smell it right now it's so bad um but I did like it I have worn it it's not my favorite I'm very particular about how scents smell on me but if I were to look at the little booklet here it does say it's more of an earthy and woody scent, which I do lean a little bit more towards. The top notes are champagne extract, orange blossom, and bergamot. They have gardenia and hydrangea and honeysuckle, and it has some a little bit of vanilla, um, saffron, and amber. So I definitely like it. It's a little bit more of a warmer scent, so if you like super florally fruity scents, you're probably not going to like this. Now let's go on to the next thing here. We got a mascara from the Sephora's line, and this is Sephora's Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. Here is a little unicarton kind of thing that you do get, and it does say that it is $12 US dollars here and $15 Canadian. But um, eh, I didn't really like it, honestly. Um, here is the little sample package. I'm assuming this is roughly what the packaging might look like when you get it full size as far as design goes. It does have a bristle wand, which is my personal favorite. Although I do have like rubber silicone ones that I love. But I always have gravitated towards more natural bristle hairs. And this one is kind of, I don't know if you're going to tell, but it, see how it's like skinnier? And then when you turn it this way, it's fat. So it's flatter on the um, sides and then it gets wider. So it's almost like a rectangle when you look at it going this way. I don't know why I'm in so in depth here with this bristle, but either way, the formula isn't as volumizing as I would like. I have very little lashes and I need a lot for my mascara. I'm not wearing it today. This is the um, It Cosmetics Superhero one, which I love. It just doesn't give me enough, however, if I'm going for light makeup days, more natural, you know, maybe no makeup and I just want a little mascara, I like it. It doesn't flake, it didn't smudge, it didn't do anything weird. I just didn't think it gave a lot for my particular lashes. However, if you have super crazy, long, full, voluminous lashes, you'll probably like this because you might not need as much as me. We got something from Too Faced and it's the Lip Injection Glossy lip gloss um, one. Does it say anything? It just says, yeah, the lip injection glossy in milkshake. So it's more of like a nudie gold tone. This? No. No, 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 no. So this is supposed to have that cinnamon type of plumping where it tingles and it feels really cool on the lips. 
I'm all about making my lips fuller because my top lip is a lot smaller than my bottom lip and I'd love my top lip to be a little bit more plump. Whatever, we can't have it all, but this burned my lips. I mean, burned them. On fire, I had a red line on the, like it's as if I put a lip liner on, a red lip liner. I put it on at first, and it started to tingle and I thought, oh, no big deal. Like I love my Buxom um, full on like lip creams and glosses. Those have a little tingle to them. Great. It started to tingle. I said, oh, not bad. I think I'm going to like this. It plumps up. Great. Fill in those fine lines a little bit. <gasps> and then my lips felt like they were on fire. Like I just rubbed a habanero pepper or something all over my lips and I wiped it away. And then when I looked in the mirror, my lips were so red and raw looking. No, 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 no. It is just not worth it. Honestly, this is too intense. I know. We did receive something from Clinique. It's from their Pep Start line that they recently launched. I forget when they launched that, but um, I remember trying the Pep Start eye cream, like that one. Uh, this is the Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. And here's the little unicarton here. And this says it's for all skin types, which is great. It is fragrance free, allergy tested, hydro blur technology moisturizes while softly blurs imperfections. I have used it. I think if you're a little bit dry and a little dehydrated or more of a normal skin type, you would like this, but I don't know. I don't think it was enough for me. If you're super dry, I don't think this is enough for you. Um, I think you're going to need something a little bit more rich and it just, it kind of feels like a poor professional or some sort of like pore primer where it does, you know, fill in your pores and kind of smooth things out a little bit, but I'm looking for moisturizer. So this might actually be, maybe I'll use it as a little, um, primer. I never tried that before. Maybe I'll do that. But I'm getting off topic here. This is definitely going to be someone that's more of a normal skin type. It says for all, but I think you might need a little bit more if you're super dry, but still nice to try. I can't really smell too much right now. As I said, I'm very stuffy, but I think it has a very fresh scent. I remember getting it and thinking, ooh, it seems very clean and fresh. And I did like the smell a lot. The next one here, we got something from Origins, which is a very pricey um, line. And we got the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. I have not stopped using this. I use this every single day. It's funny because it actually has, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit in the back of my hand. You're probably not gonna be able to tell and I don't wanna put too much because I don't wanna waste. But here it is. It's kind of like a pale pearly pink and can you see it's funny because I wouldn't have expected to have some like color to it but obviously when you blend away it doesn't actually leave a color but it almost like brightens and oh it's so hydrating I can't smell. I don't know why I keep smelling. It's just automatically what I do. I just go to smell it. I like the smell of this actually. But my under eyes, as soon as I put it on, it's just like, bam, it almost looks like um, it's wet looking, which it's not, not in a gross way, but just very hydrated. And I love using this. I have very dry under eyes and I have a lot of fine lines and I can get very crepey under there. And I've been liking this. I don't see a whole lot of depuffing, but I actually haven't been too puffy, honestly. Um, I've just been a little bit more darker here because of not feeling well and being tired. But I have always wanted to get this in the full size. So I'm happy to have this as a sample and I'm gonna use every little drop. I do also want to mention too that this product has coffee beans in it and it has ginseng root and magnolia extract. This is going to be very good for redness and inflammation and those coffee beans are going to be very energizing to your skin and your under eyes and really provide a lot of antioxidants. So I mean Origins always does a very good job with their products. They have very good ingredients. Um, just a little pricey but I always say pay more for your skincare. That's the best thing you can do. Okay, so getting down to the end of getting super stuffy, so I'm gonna wrap this video up a little bit here. Uh, the last thing, and the best thing, honestly, for me, 
was something from NARS. When I see this little black box, I got excited. We did receive the Velvet Lip Glide, and I've heard some reviews on this, and we did get the color Bound. First off, can we talk about this little packaging? So cute. <gasps> I die for this. I mean, look at this my boyfriend always says that I'm a sucker for packaging and if it has a cute little character on it or if it's something really tiny and small I'll buy it it may be horrible but I'll buy it because they suck me in with packaging those marketing people are in my brain and they know but I love this it's not like they cheaped out on some sort of small sample size it's pretty much the exact same thing as you'd get full size but obviously a little mini version I just I can't so cute, very clean and classic looking. I love NARS packaging, they have that rubbery texture. Ugh. Anyways, so the product itself, these are not gonna be your liquid lipsticks and that kind of thing that's just been so popular and a big craze. Honestly, I love matte lipsticks, I love liquid lipsticks, but I don't on my everyday life or in my everyday life wear them for videos for once in a while, but I need something comfortable. My lips can get very dry. This is beautiful. It's not going to be very long wearing, but the formula is kind of like, basically it's a liquid lipstick, but not a liquid long wearing lipstick. It's a true like melted down lipstick, if that makes sense. Um, and it has like a glossiness. So it's almost like a cream liquid lipstick mixed with a gloss. I don't even know why I'm explaining it that way, but that's how my brain's working with all this sinus congestion. This is the color Bound, and honestly, this is a perfect color to send out in a subscription because everyone is gonna look good in this shade. I, you know, love getting other different colors, reds and, you know, brighter shades, but for most people and the everyday woman, you need something more natural, and I think that's just a safer thing to send out for subscription boxes, and they did it. They hit it on the head with this one. It's beautiful. They're so comfortable and cushiony and they glide on. Um, I don't remember if they have a scent. I don't know if I can smell anything right now. They have a little bit of a scent, but maybe like vanilla. And you have to reapply these, but I don't care because it's like applying a lip gloss. They don't have a stickiness to them. What does the little booklet say? It says, a nude pink stay all day liquid lipstick that applies easily and leaves a semi-matte finish with a silky feel. I don't agree with that whole stay all day liquid lipstick claim. I don't think that is a good representation of what this product is. Um, like I said, it is like a melted down lipstick. It does have a little bit of a velvety feel, but it stays fairly glossy on the lips. Um, so... If you like the melted down like cream lipstick along with a little bit of gloss, very comfortable, you don't mind reapplying, but almost does leave a little stain. I don't know if it's necessarily stain, but it wears off evenly on the lips and you just kind of don't have to worry about it being all over your face or, you know, coming off in weird areas or leaving that whole like butthole ring on your mouth. It's just easy. And that's it for the month of February. I want to be a broken record here, but if you haven't done the Sephora Play subscription, try it out even for a couple months. And if you're on a budget, it's affordable. It's $10 a month, $9.99 or whatever. And you try high-end products if you don't want to invest your money in them. I mean, this little guy's going to last me a while. I gonna have a hard time going through it if I use it every single day yeah maybe the mascara will still last a long time so you're getting products that will last you a good amount of time but you're not investing a whole lot in there so that's all I have to say about that don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you like these unboxings with reviews I would greatly appreciate it and if you're new here today don't forget to subscribe you know where that button lives and also don't forget to click that little bell that will notify you when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.